What is up, my dudes? This is Yardbra, and you're tuning in to another episode of my lawn. All right, so you want to buy this roll aerator, but you're kind of hesitant, right? You're like, ah, oh, it's freaking expensive. It's over 300 bucks. Is it worth it? Hell yeah, it's worth it. Are you kidding me? Go, just go do it. Just make it happen. <laughs> I've owned this thing for a year now. And I'll tell you what, the amount of aerating that I do, I would have spent so much money hiring someone to, to come down and make this happen. It's ridiculous. This thing, we're going to go through the pros and cons and why you should buy this thing. I'm going to let you know right now, I am not affiliated with these guys. You guys are emailing me, asking me questions about the product, about your shipping. I don't know. Guys, I just bought this thing on eBay last year. It's, apparently, it's not even on eBay anymore. You have to go to, here, listen, you have to go to RollAerator.com. Apparently, there's different versions of this now. There's a core aeration one. There's one that doesn't core aerate. And they're a little bit more expensive than what I bought mine for. Mine was like 250 bucks. Now they're like 350 So, you know, but we're still going to go through the pros and cons, even at the price point of 350 bucks. The number one pro of this tool is the speed oh my goodness the speed is phenomenal i mean okay here we're gonna test it out look 600 square feet boom timey go stop the clock stop the clock now i don't know about you but using a step core aerator that would have taken me half the day. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. That would have taken me a lot longer and a lot more back pain later, and then I would have been done. And then I still got to do the main lawn. I still got to do the other sidewalk strips. I got to, I got to get the other patch that I showed my neighbor. I got to do the back. I kid you not. The roll aerator takes me less than 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, even less. 15 minutes front and back. 3,000 square feet front and back. Now, you may be saying, well, I have an acre. Well, if you have an acre, you better go buy yourself one of them tractors that hauls an aerator around. Don't be, <laughs> don't be judging us small lawn folk because we gotta make do. And this is one of them things that you gotta make do. Another pro, it's made in the US. You're supporting a local company. Okay, cool, you can make your own. Awesome, I love, I love trying to, uh, you know, custom make things too. And you feel a lot more accomplished. But hey, this is made in the USA. Merca. Merca. It's Merican made. You're supporting a local company. Yes, it might just be a uh, 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 rotor <laughs> with some metal tines and you, you screw it together. But all that time and effort you go to the hardware store and drilling and, you know, Okay, cool. You can make one. I mean, shoot, I could make a cooler one and I would make it so you could, you know, push a button and the core aeration stuff goes away so you don't have to get clogged all the time. Ooh, there's a con. There's a con. Con number one. Clogging. If you don't have perfect soil conditions, this thing will clog up on you. My soil is pretty legit. I mean, it is a nice. As you can see, the grass is greener than everyone's grass in the neighborhood. I mean, it's golf course green. <laughs> I know I'm talking crap. But, guys, it kind of clogs up. Now, me, I don't really necessarily need the coreness. I don't need the lawn sausages that much. I don't notice the difference. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't know the notice the difference between core aeration and poking some holes. At the end of the day, you're getting deep in there. The water's getting in there. All your organic granulars are getting in there. You know, you don't want to be core aerating and then all of a sudden put a fertilizer down. You might burn your roots. You don't want to do that. But the organic stuff, malorganite. Oh yeah, I'll core aerate, drop down some malorganite, boom. Amazing loud because of this guy, the roll aerator. 
another con for me. Not many cons. Not many cons with this tool. I, I, I really genuinely like this tool. The, the one of the tines just came out. I mean, maybe it's because I'm slamming it too hard on the on, on the concrete sometimes. But yes, one of the tines came loose. I, I I tried super gluing it. That didn't work. I'm gonna JB weld it. Okay, I don't need to bust out my my, my welder to fix this thing. We're just gonna JB weld and see how that works. But that's another con. The tines do come loose, kind of. Now, I guess you can buy tines, and then you probably have to do the same thing I'm doing right now. But at the end of the day, you know, it's all good. We can fix stuff ourselves. That's what we do. We're do-it-yourselfers. So that's another con. But overall, the pros outweigh the cons, 100%. And yes, you could go buy a used gas-powered crazy aerator, which I want, but as you can see, I have no room. Man, those things are like used a G. And then you got to haul it, then you got to store it, and then you got to maintain it. Come on. And uh, it's just too much work. But this guy, look at that. You're rolling, you're rolling away. It takes you 15 minutes for 3,000 square feet, and you're on your way. Now me, I leave the lawn sausages. If... I'm, I'm doing the like maintenance aeration. If I'm doing an overseed and I'm doing a level, if it's a sand level, like we just did this year, I pick them up. I pick up the core cores with my Scott's leaf sweeper. But then if it's like just maintenance, leave it there. It'll break down over time. A lot of you are still thinking in your head, this guy has to be crazy promoting this at 300 plus dollars. I'm not though. I'm not. It's it's useful. Not only have I used it on my lawn, I've used it on a ton of other people's lawns. And when people need to borrow it, they can borrow it. My neighbor across the street borrows it. He doesn't need to go rent or, or pay someone a hundred dollars front and back. Here, here's the roll aerator. Have fun. <laughs> my other neighbors. Hey, can I borrow that thing? No problem. Here you go. It's an amazing tool. I, I'm sorry. I, I, all the crap talkers about this tool, I don't know. Go ahead and make your own. Go ahead and, uh, you know, waste your time doing it. But me, I like supporting local companies. I like supporting people who, you know, have a little innovation in their heads. This is pretty innovative. I haven't seen anything like this. This is an amazing tool to me. And the price point, it, it, it'll pay for itself over time over time kind of and you can even rent it out if you want yeah neighbor here here's if you want to do that i don't i'm not going to do that here give me 20 bucks <laughs> <laughs> or here give me 10 bucks or here give me a beer there you go you get free beer with lending out your roll aerator there you go you get a free a beverage guys make it happen this is my favorite tool I mean, if you're in the area and you're a subscriber and you want to borrow this thing, holla at me. Just, you can borrow it. It's all good. It's, it's the best tool. I love this thing. You know what I mean? I love this thing. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. You guys are the best. I hope this helps. This is the one year review. It's still kicking. It's an amazing tool to me. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll catch you on the next video. Back it easy. Some kid just drove by listening to this song. Bro, are you kidding me? That's a good song. Be too loud. Oh, this guy got a sneaky link. <laughs> the next room. You dirty dog. Coming from the lips of an angel. Makes me weak, let it out.